Engineering Eng. PDF document of this video is on engineering.com. Friends, hello. In this video, we talked uh, about the plots or stem commas in previous videos. In fact, we were very interested in the plot command in our last video. After that, one of the graphic types, polar, is a kind of graphic that is used quite often in the graphic, especially with antenna style, radiation diagram, etc. in the future if you will be interested. Or in your current lessons, this is a very useful program. I will try to explain this now. There is something I have not prepared on, on, on purpose before. Our article may be a little small. So this is font uh, may seem a little small to you. So now where I set this up. Here I do it myself in your uh, company as follows. In the fonts section here I will do 12 here. And you see it's getting a little bigger. Look our article has grown a little more like this. Let's continue like this a little after that. For you to look more comfortable. Again I said new script and let's start writing here. First of all there are sinuses and cosinuses at the core of the polar graph or there are exponentials uh, but it's already exponential you know sinus and cosinus can turn into another but it's already exponential if you want it let me write it as follows sinus cosinus functions because so sinus cosinus functions give a result when they take a certain x and degree or radians i throw one at 90 degrees it is 0 at 0, 180 is 0, 270 is minus 1, etc. You can do this with the Euler link. e to the plus uh, jx minus. It's minus e to the jx uh, over 2j. Maybe it has appeared in other vi uh, previous videos. I remember as I touched uh, on this magnetic etc. Maybe e to the plus jx plus e to the minus jx over 2. Thus... In a polar graph, there is usually an exponential function or a sinus cosinus function. We will make our transaction through sinus uh, cosinus. The important thing for us here is to understand this polar graph in its uh, simplest form. Here is what we mean by the simplest state. A polar graph is usually graphs that show a specific amplitude values for certain angular values. And here is what we usually call a radiance diagram, an antenna, etc. Or reflective, we call a reflector. It makes what magnitude of glow what, to what degree. We can say that it is one of the most basic graphics that uh, enable us to see it properly. Here is to write it like this. First of all, it is in our polar graph fic. Of course, what we call x and y value. The x value here will represent the angles. We will find the y's for what angle value. We will write sinus cosines in the y part. There is a situation like this. Usually, we can write from 0 to 2p in small steps of 0 0.01 as 2p. But usually, don't prefer my little step here like that. Often, people think of a point, uh, 0, 0, 001 or 0, 01. I instead always call the guaranteed way and here I write a value like p divided by 100 when I multiply this value so this is in the number of steps length when I look at x I want length x to be an integer because for the integer value of x for example the 13th value of x the 200 value of x if it is not a strictly solid when i do this 0 0.001 p isn't exactly a value after all for example p takes a lot of values after uh, 3.14 if i increase it by 0 0.01 i definitely cannot reach p in fact there is a shortage once in a while the best way to guarantee this will uh, be a multiply of it so two p is if I get this place with a P because I know uh, there are two P, I discard P. I know that if we include zero, it will be 201 terms. I can see because when I multiply it by uh, 200, I can get two P, the last uh, term right there. So the important thing here is that you wrote it between. When you multiply the small number of the steps we call steps by integer, it is the safest way to get the last term. 
So I meant that here. When we look at length x from here, we will see 201 thirds. Of course, let's save uh, this first uh, by lesson 6. And we use underscores. We cannot use that. For example, it is 201 terms. Of course, I multiply it by 200 here. I mean this. This is how we see the 201 term, guys. Hence, the most recommended thing. First of all, when these places are multiplied by an integer, the last step step, so I value to give two p's. If I write it in this way, I guarantee it. 200 is an integral when I multiply this by 200. When I multiply the step by an integral, when I multiply the step step, give it to you. In short, I meant it. Now hereafter, you understand the logic. Now we have created x. After creating x, we will examine the sinus and cosinus in the polar graph. Now a step y before typing in polar like this. What should uh, this be equal to? I'm looking at him. Here I say sinus equals x. My values, this is always the radian value inside. So watch out here. So I write this in radian. Now guys, I'll... All I have to do is plot y on the x on the polar graph. This is for me certain angular values. Look at this way. For certain angular values, it converts itself to degrees here. And that over, there's a 0 to 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0.08, and 1. It, it shows me what values the function takes. Now we know what this is the theory. For example, we know the sinus is at uh, 1 at 90 degrees. Look, when we click uh, right here for 90 degrees in the data cursor, I see that in the 90 degree part, y goes to 1, guys. Later, we know that there is also 0 at 0. If more than, let's do this cosinus let's look at cosinus now if you want when we look at cosinus we know again uh, for zero degrees in cosinus you see the value of one in MATLAB is usually e to the minus 16 there is a value corresponding to zero as much as possible we know that cosinus takes the value 1 for uh, 0 degrees, also for 90 degrees, this is here. When I come from 90 degrees, I see that the value goes towards 0. Now, of course, you can play with the aspect. Sinus and cosinus. If we make it minus here, its direction changes. This uh, way B tries to the left. Then, in the sinus, if we do minus sinus x like this when we are heating up at first we turn it down now this is the sine function in fact there are the most basic equation of glows you usually see the glows in types here of course we can add uh, coefficients for example if i multiply sinus by 0 0.5 this mean decrease all amplitude values by 0 0.5 when you look at this way it's worth when friends just go to 1 at 90 degrees, going uh, to 1 at 90 degrees, now goes to 0 0.5. Likewise, uh, for 0 degrees, you see that is uh, 0. We can also uh, question inside. We can play around a bit with the values inside. For example, 0 0.5. I hit it inside. I changed the degrees a bit. Look, this shape uh, resembles a little more radiant diagrams to us. Watch out here, since we multiply it by 2 this time, it now gives 0 at 180. This time it starts to value at 180. It gives 0 0.5 at 180 degrees because it is 0 0.5 in front of it. This way you can play with graphics, friends. Then what can we do to make it more colorful and thicker in this polar graphic? Let's take a look at it. Friends, we cannot write uh, line width here as in plot in plot polar card so this command does not work method of doing this for example what was uh, these two draw two times thicker let's like with b2 so the line is two times thicker or draw it is in the red here and uh, line with two can't do it guys it gives an error
Let's see this, now it's made an error. You see here instead of he admits it, I can't hear. If we say it's just a red row, he accepts it. But uh, the way to draw this ball is these guys. After we set uh, this to color here, we can assign this polar graph to any variables. For example, I said hush. Then I say set this hush, uh, play around on this hush. Right here the length, line width uh, 2 that I just cut. Let's see what happens to the graphic I'm looking. Now you can draw it in a bold like this. As you can see, we draw it in the bold, in bold like this. In the same way, you know, you were dealing with this place to draw it cutly. Likewise, if we wanted to draw this area point by point, we would draw it this way. If we want to overlap, again, we can do as uh, follows. Again, we say, hold on. We keep our first card and let's say Y2. That is 0 0.5 cosinus, the sinus above. Get cosinus 0 0.5 x, uh, multiply x uh, friends. Then polar, let's say x, comma, y2. Let's see what kind of graph comes out. Here the polar graphic begins to spoil itself a little more for cosinus. It doesn't look much like a radiance diagram just like that. If you want, let's just make the values here, sinus and cosinus. Let's see more comfortably. Let's just do it sinus here. For as when we looked like this, we had our graph plotted on the top of each other. And then let's call it Hashiki. Let's uh, let this polar to be equal to Hashiki. Let's make this color black. We write black as the last letter K for black. Or let's do CN. Magenta CN. We can also use them. Let's call it set here. Graph hash uh, 2 here. Line width. We capitalize L and uh, W. Again, I say, uh, I say draw this two times thicker. Let's take a look at what kind of look you get if you want. As you can see, this is how we get our card, guys. And finally, of course, let's give it a name. This is the graph of y in the legend function. The second one is uh, automatically detected due to hold on. I call this the graph of y2. Let's see if we thought it's right. See, as you can see, the graph of y above, the other is the graph of y2, we already know, we had it drawn accordingly. In this way, you can make such drawings in polar graphics, guys. We say the CN, the purple style, we call this color magenta, will take in a different color. If I want to draw it in cons, we play with it. As you can see, it is cut like this, this was supposed to be point by point, or point by point. Or point by point, I can see. Ah, it was point uh, to point, guys. I said for a moment, uh, didn't he draw a dot by dot? I, I look notice. This was point by point. This is how we solve the polar graphic in our cars, uh, guys. As I usually say, the exponential function is based on the sinus cosinus because we know that these functions are also transformation of exponential functions. In this way, we can draw these graphics, guys. Uh, we learned the polar graph in this video. Hope to meet you in another video. Goodbye.